Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to import your own anime character into game animation sample project and retarget it. As you can see, it's working fine and climbing all the things are really working. Now let's get started. To get started with anime character, you can download Vroid Studio, it's completely free. You can download from Windows, Mac OS or you can simply download from directly from the Steam. After downloading the Vroid Studio, download this plugin, the link will be in the description. Just scroll down here and click this release and then choose the plugin version according to your engine version. I'm using the 5.5 so I will be downloading this 5.5 version. You should download the exact version number as your engine number. Once you have downloaded the Vroid Studio and the plugin required, then create a game animation sample project from here game simply click and create a game animation sample project i will not be creating one as i have already created earlier so click this in show in folder and then where you have downloaded the plugin just extract that file and then simply copy paste it in this folder and then launch the project until the project is being compiled and launched open the Vroid studio i will be using this avatar symbol b you can use any other anime character so double click it it will take some time so finally the anime character has opened click this button to export is as vrn and click export yes simply click export button from here once the editor has been opened let's check the plugins and search for vrm for you and check if it's enabled if it's not enable it and you will have to restart the editor and now open the content drawer and click create a new folder anime character and let's import the file we created using vroid studio simply drag and drop and click import and let's open the world setting if you if your world setting is not enabled you can just simply go to windows and click this world setting I will just open the default pawn which is our sandbox character you can just and then go to retargeted characters I will be duplicating one of the characters you can use any of the characters to duplicate I will use the queen character simply control D to duplicate and change it to CBP anime and then open it Uh, we will choose this avatar sample b that we have imported it skeletal mesh is selected we will search for component tag and we will change it to rtg enemy and and verify the skeletal mesh you have selected is avatar sample b and then click it mesh character and verify you have here skm uif and many pin as we have changed the component tag in skeletal mesh to rtg anime to tell the animation blueprint class and change it here so click the browse button and open abb generic now you have to expand the ik retargeter map and you can see there are couple of retargeters click add button here and name same as rtg anime as we have given in the component tag and here we will be selecting rtg uefn avatar symbol b which came with our project now simply click the compile and go to and compile this one as well and then in and open the content drawer and simply drag the cbb anime character which we have created and change it in the default pawn class 
and now we will simply click the run button and as you can see our anime character is working perfectly fine sometimes you will notice shadow tears which you can fix by changing the project settings and simply searching by virtual shadow maps and change it to shadow maps and it will fix your shadow tearing which sometimes you will see so that's it for the video if you like the and if you enjoyed it simply press the like button and check our patreon for download files and some exclusive content